Hello guys and welcome back to Imperian Galactic Survival Reforged Eden. My name is Rakuna. And yeah, we are at the Polaris stations. I traveled around the same world. Yeah, we're still on the uh, swamp planet. And I came across the fire base. I came across a vital life pharmaceutical, which looks quite interesting. You got some habitats, you got dig sites. There seems to be a lot to cover. Now, I know Firebase were there before, but I'm still going to take a little look inside. Now, I know that the Firebase usually has uh, a couple of traders, uh, such as this guy. Uh, he's buying data, uh, <laughs> whatever I, those are or however I go get them. But uh, yeah, it's very interesting. Uh, I don't currently have any of that. Uh, I'll be back with you later, kind sir, Mr. Trader Surveyor. Yeah. And we got another guy here, uh, Interweapon Armament. Ooh. Uh, heard of anything interesting? Yeah, what about? Should be standard knowledge for you military types. Rocket launchers are the best handled weapon for taking down drones and sentry guns. Ain't nothing better for taking down an assault mech or a drone gunship than a well-placed rocket or two. Plasma's better for taking down group of lightly armored troops. Uh, good to know. Good to know. Thank you, sir. Now, what does he want? What's the work? I don't need any help with the store. I have a special order I need filled that I'm having trouble if you're interesting. Uh, I'm interested. What is it? I have a repair order for a set of particle beam rifles. These things are top of the line. Brand spanking new. Right out of the lab and I'm not even qualified to touch these things, let alone work on them. The coils overheat too fast, causing the heat sink to melt unevenly and eject prematurely. Uh, okay. The only things I think of would require heat exchangers, but I don't have that kind of things on hand. They're usually used on drilling rigs and fusion reactors, not weapons. If you can track down 35 of them for these seven rifles, I'll pay you 95,000 credits. Uh, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> here to buy. So, yeah, over here, he's got like good old regular stuff nothing nothing fancy so you know uh, my friend i will see about those heat exchangers i just don't know what they are uh, still still brand new all of this right i'm still learning a lot uh, what do you have mr bertram's arms uh looking for work <laughs> okay this guy is looking he has a job for me Okay, I got a regular customer who takes his ship out camping on different worlds. He's got that whole, I'm gonna camp on every world in the galaxy goal that you see in a lot of younger uh, idiots. <laughs> the problem is that he's gonna get himself killed camping on some of the planets in the justice system alone. Uh, I get why. So I need to pitch him something more sturdy than a survival tent that can withstand harsh climates and airless moons and being compact enough to haul around. I've heard about those prefab housing modules that P3 makes. They'll do the job. I just need a couple of them to pitch to him. If you can get me two prefab housing modules from P3 Productions, I can surely sell them to him. Or at least dissuade him from his insane mission before he gets himself killed. I'll pull you 12,500 credit for both of them. If you can get them. I'll see what I can do. So, even if I don't freaking do anything, uh... <laughs> I, w I won't get penalized for this, that that's for sure. But again, the whole prefab housing modules, I have no clue what the frickin' hell that is. Oh, and you at the top of the building, what, what do you sell, my kind sir? Okay, mechanical components. He, he's buying all sorts of things. Uh, none of which that... Oh, oh God damn it! I got plenty of toxic waste, but everyone seems to want to sell it and never buy it. So that's a bummer. That's a major bummer. All right, so we got Dr. Sewell. Sewell, however you say it. That is requiring five scientific equipment to replace lab parts that were broken. I don't know if I have any of that. Uh, do you have anything for sale? Okay, at least he's not selling these uh, particular items. So I'm going to go head back uh, to the Darius. I'm going to go ex explore uh, the other Polaris settlements uh, just about... So over here we got the Vital Life uh, Pharmaceuticals, and the Darius is parked uh, right there. Uh, I have never seen this building. I maybe this is one of the new ones, and I wanted to go and check it out. All right, stand down, boys. Uh, I am honored. Yeah, put your guns away. Yeah. Okay, it's got a clean feel to it. 
Okay, welcome to Vitalize Pharmaceuticals, a leading producer of medical ingredients and pharmaceuticals. I'm one of the researchers at this lab, probably the lead researcher. We don't really deal with customers here. I'm authorized to provide samples to drug reps and negotiate supply contract though. I'm currently juggling half a dozen issues, so I don't have time for it. Refrigeration went down on half of our supply cabinet, so many of our supplies are ruined. Ruined, I say! Now I've got requests from lab two and three for materials that we don't have. Need help? Assistance in this matter is appreciated. Either way, you've accepted the task on your own recognizance. It won't affect the lab negativity either way, so do your best. I have a list of materials to replace here, and the one currently on the top of the list is uh, 60 bottles of Xeno gas. Xenon gas. Z what is Xenon gas? A rare gas primarily used in anesthetic and a variety of medical processes undertaken here. You'll not find it on trade stations, most likely at a gas harvester as a byproduct. I'll see what I can do. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pretend I know what the hell you're talking about. Where the hell do I find the xenon gas? Well, he just told me, but still, where the hell is that? Well, this place looks kind of nice. You got some loot crates, we got some, uh, <laughs> Some old androids, they're old and damaged and rusty, and they should go in the trash can. But is that thing carrying a freaking rocket launcher? I'm not messing with him. No, I'm not. Alright, so you got more food there, more, uh, yeah, place to eat, and refrigeration cabinets, which uh, most half of them have gone bad. Uh, so basically, that's all there is. There's this guy... Uh, giving you quests right here right here that little dude right there yeah i'm talking to you uh besides that there's nothing to be had here so and i don't think i'll be able to collect any of that uh, xenon gas anytime soon but i may just fly over this mining operation i'm not don't think i want to stop there i just wanted to take a look i mean it looks kind of sweet look at that i don't know what the hell they're mining but it it, it looks cool <laughs> All right, anyways, it's time to head back to the Chavon. Okay, uh, we are at the Talon uh, still village. Uh, the Chavon is not too far over there, and the Darius is taking a swim. Uh, please don't rest. So I'm going to go check maybe the whole swimming. Uh, excuse me. Not swimming. What the, I can swim whenever I want. The whole fishing thing is here. So, sir, uh, what do you got? Okay, you're just, you're just selling stuff again. You know what? No, thank you. I mean, it would make sense to, to for a village like this to have a, a, a little fishing place, right? Yep. Uh, Talon just fell in the water. Uh, hold your breath, buddy. Hold your breath. <laughs> that one just threw himself in the water as well. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe try and improve the pathing on these guys. You know, they seem to want to go swimming a lot. Except I don't think they know how to swim. All right. So, so far, I'm... Out of luck. I'm out of luck. It's funny that these guys are not allowed technology, but they do have a generator and all that stuff and a core. <laughs> I know, I know. They, they need to have one for the POI to be active, but still. Well, you know what? I'm not finding anything, and I am kind of sad. Yeah, I wanted to go and test out this whole fishing thing, but uh, you can't always have what you want. So, good luck with the swimming, uh, Talons. I hope you don't drown. Alright guys, so I left the Swamp Planet. You know, heat exchangers, gases, and all that. Uh, I, I did not know. I looked in my constructor and I did not find anything to make uh, heat exchangers. I did find some interesting things though. Yeah, right now I went <laughs> pentaxid hunted. And I got like a whole, bu uh, well, a whole bunch, a reasonable amount. But I didn't notice these things here. Uh, you got these repair kits that, that we are all aware. Uh, but we got these advanced manufacturing goods. You can sell that for a decent amount. Yeah, I mean, you got all of these, these goods that you can make and sell. That is pretty cool. But you also have some research that you can do. It uses a bunch of resources uh, from your inventory. When you bring them back to the UCH, you can do research and it'll give you some unlock points. As you can see, I mean, this one shouldn't be too bad to do. Alien Thorn, Alien Tooth, Alien Parts. I mean, we got a whole bunch of that. And this one, I mean, this one I think would be considered the cheapest advanced power regulator. 
I don't know. Is that one of the very expensive things to do? Uh, anyways, I'm, I'm looking through the <laughs> through the templates here, and I'm not finding. I I will worry about that later. Right now, I want to go check this gas refinery that I just came across, and as the other merchant was telling, uh, I could actually get some stuff down there that he required. So maybe it would be a good uh, idea to stock up on that in case I come across somebody else that would need it. All right, hello, my fellow friends. Uh, let me put away my gun so that I don't accidentally shoot someone and ruin my reputation. How may I serve you? Uh, first of all, heard anything interesting? Those I see clowns hit two shipments yesterday as a freighter were coming into that system. The joke's on them, though. Those ships were carrying raw sewage for the treatment plant. <laughs> ah, poor them. All right, what do you have to sell? What do you got? So, uh, again, just a douche selling some freaking toxic waste. Why don't you buy my toxic waste? I got plenty. I need to get rid of it. What about you, little guy? The hell are you doing here? Let, let's make the little guy have a big voice. Well, wait a second. Wait a second. Wow, okay. No, no prompting whatsoever. If you're looking to avoid getting stomped, you'll stay where you are and out of the way of my boys and the mechanoids. We've already operating on max capacity. You don't have time to handhold, you dirt diggers. Need help? I've got all the lazy bums I need around here. You want to work? You can hop in your ship and go and find me a new fusion reacting core. I'll pay you double the market price since it's our current one that has been running dirty for the last month. And no one wants to deliver one out here. A fusion reactor core? What the hell? Non-linear productions and Solaris AMP makes them, and they're perfect for gas miners, since we've got a limited source of hydrogen and helium to run them out. I'll see what I can do. Solaris AMP and non-linear production. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's uh, some buildings. Yeah, maybe it is. Guess I'll have to keep my eye out for that. Yeah. You know, all of this new stuff can be overwhelming. Oh, wow, this is a beautiful sight right here. Look at that. Hey, big guy. Yeah, good thing I'm your friend. Yeah, don't shoot me, please. All right, so I've lingered here enough. It, I think, I mean, with the wood collected and the pentaxid, I am good to move on. Let's head over closer as much as we can to the Brotherhood of Far. I want to see if there's a new mission over there. So, Rakuna, I forgot to ask you, how was the fishing? There was nobody there. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, you're not. You're making fun of me. Oh, of course not. I wouldn't make fun of you. You can be such a jerk sometimes. Kuna, I'm sorry. No, you're not. So that is right. I noticed that there was also this uh, expedition, the Forge mission, that is done in the Polaris territory, and I am in the Polaris territory. So let's try this little puppy. Okay, start making your way to the forge. If you haven't already found a trading station in Polaris Story, trading station sector show up as a white icon, a uh, white station icon on a solar system map. All right, let's go check it out. Uh, apparently none here. Uh, maybe they mean this. Yeah, let's let's go take a look over there. All right, uh, let's just find the spot we need to warp to. Everything's so freaking yellow in here. Could you be less yellow, sun, please? All right, I, okay, I can see the arrow. All right, Ollie Throm, here we come. Okay, th this place is freaking yellow as well. Oh my god. So we got a train station, Lamba. I don't know if there's the station that we're looking for. Uh, to be honest, I don't think so, because warp to trading station sector would have been checked out if uh, this was the right place. So let's move on ahead. Well, look at what we have here. I think this is one of the new asteroid fields. Uh, it says turret set to target NPC plus faction plus base warp drives will fire on the de on these asteroids. So I'll go see about making these lasers. Automated ice harvester drill. Okay, um, I don't know if I had the recipe for this. Uh, so looking at the whole... Uh, <laughs> The tech tree. I am not locating it. I don't exactly know how we get this. Uh, maybe it's something that I need to unlock at a UCH station. I will have to check out. 
it, it's sad because I really wanted to take a look at that and test it out for myself. But uh, I guess I will have to do a little bit more digging to find out how it's done. Or maybe if you know, yeah, just leave it in the comments below. Be super appreciated. All right, so I think we hit Jetpot. Uh, Vida, trading station. Yeah, I, I think we're actually gonna get there. We're gonna try out what there is to do uh, with this. W what is this all about? A trading quest? What's, what's it gonna be? What's the reward at the end of all this? You have entered the trading station sector. This is a Polaris territory. There should be a distribution center owned by the Polaris nearby. Well, <laughs> speak of the devil. Look at that. Hmm? Ooh, bounty hunter office. Uh, do I still have... Was I able to recover the bounty uh, that I've managed to pick up? No, apparently I'm not I'm not lucky with that. Uh, yeah, some of these bounties uh, I was not able to find from the item menu. So I, I was not able to... Uh, I will not be able to return what I the bounties I've collected. And that's kind of sad because I think I collected two. So, you know what? <laughs> It's fine. That's yeah, fine. Let's head over to the distribution center. But when I'm done with that, I, I guess I should go check out the Bunty Hunter office. Maybe they got uh, some new stuff for me. I'd better go check that out afterwards. Okay. Uh, speak with your contact on board the station. Yeah, it will do. Okay, I think I'm close enough. I, I don't think I could be any closer than this. Okie dokie, so here we are. And here is our contact, Mr. Little Guy, I think. Hey, dude. Hello, sir. And oh, madame. Uh, well, really, can't can't you tell? Welcome to one of Polaris Merga Corps' premier distribution centers. Oh, may I assist you? I was told to meet you here on behalf of the UCH. Ah, oh, yes, you are your coon, I assume. The one and only. It is good to meet you. I understand you are interested in purchasing the schematic to one of our newest inventions. That is correct. I am authorized to purchase a schematic on behalf of the UCH for 3 million credits. Really? Ah, yes, 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 I see. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I would love to sell you the schematic, but see, I seem to have misplaced it. You misplaced it. Competent freak! Uh, well, more like it was stolen from me. Some filthy pirate stole the schematic right off of the station and took off in a corvette. If you return the schematic to us, you can have it free of charge. Free of charge? Three million? Three of charge? Okay. Do you know where it is? Luckily, I had placed a tracker on this case holding the schematics. You will find them in orbit of a planet in a nearby K2-7 class star system in Polaris territory. Though you will have to warp to that system to narrow down their location. I will give you the tracking frequency. Get my schematic back and you can have it for free. Honest. Find the system. Search a galaxy map for a star type K2-7. There should be one nearby in Polaris territory. I will get it back, and you better not be lying about it being free, or I will murderize you. All right. Warp 2 K2-7. All right. Yeah, you know what? I got it. I got it. Uh, by the way, I might as well go talk to these guys. Hey, dude. Oh, this guy is buying deuterium. Oh, and nitronite ice whatever the hell that is okay good and what do you have irritite powder and yeah advanced manufacturing goods advanced cargo goods hmm better go check that out this is a quite an a fair sum uh but below market value yeah no no i'm not doing any of this for you and these are my little bounty fellows hey dude all right, uh, that guy didn't tell me anything. Want to trade against a uh, large sealed package? Uh, yeah, uh, large. Okay, I don't have any packages to deliver. Uh, can I kind of? No, you, you're just. Yeah, you know, that's only if I get the package. I don't know where I need to get the package from, but uh, ugh, I will eventually. Maybe I'll come across it someday. So, we finally really have a heading. Uh, you know, I wanted to go to uh, Brotherhood of Far, but I think this might wait just a tad. I want to see what the schematic is all about. <laughs> yeah, that guy better not screw me over. So, if I write K2-7, uh, we got two of them. And the nearest one is this one. Yep, yeah, let's, let's lock on this target. 
Lock. Thank you. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is I got a good reputation with the pirates. I know I wanted to destroy that reputation once I find the uh, the bank and steal all of their money, but uh, I didn't want to do anything about it till then. So I wonder if I can avoid ruining my reputation. The scanner detect a tracking frequency on one of the moons of the gas giant in this system. Warp to one of the gas giant's moons. Will do. Well, <laughs> guess guess that's all there is, right? I think I might need the Cleomedes for this job. Yeah, this ship is fully armed and ready to kick some ass. You know, just in case. Your scanner picks up the tracking signal your contact gave you. Find the pirate thieves and confront them. And I shall. All right, so I'm gonna leave uh, the Charon here. I'm gonna take the Cleomedes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> The ship was left out in the, the cold for a little while. Uh, temperature inside is still damn cold, so I might need to go and grab one of my EVA suits before I freeze to death, uh, as is happening right now. I know I'm freezing. Just give me a second. I had to get my freaking EVA boost. Where the hell is the armor locker? Uh, now. Ugh. Okay. I believe that'll be fine. Now, uh, yeah, maybe I should grab a couple of these uh, other things just in case. I don't think the whole jetpack rocket power is going to do me any good out in space. And uh, why is my health at 650? Is that a new feature? Armor gives you more health or something? I never noticed that before. Hmm. Oh, hey, I'm not complaining. More health, the better. Okay, so we are closing in on the pirate thieves. So probably there's going to be a message I'll prompt in just a minute. Yep, approaching. Okay, stop, slow down. Uh, they look like they're broken down. Pirate ship appears to be derelict. There may be information you can extract from the bridge console. Okay. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> All right, let's go check this out. We got a core Lutzy Lutz. Well, somebody had a bad day. Ooh, well, if there's, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is still pirate stuff. Yeah, if I take it, I'm gonna be unfriendly. Ah, damn it. All right, so we are at the bridge. Let's talk to the large console. There's power running into this console. Access logs. There's various navigational and sensor logs of this console. From what you can tell, they, we're simple rum smugglers that were ambushed by a Zarek's patrol vessel. We find no mention of stealing a schematic. The logs show that a Zarek's patrol vessel landed on the nearby moon for 34 minutes and then departed the system. Perhaps you can continue your search there. Okay. Wow. Information from the console shows the pirates were attacked by a Zarek ship, which went to the moon. All right. Looks like we're going to the moon. Yay. All right, did you find the schematic? What? The ship was empty and the Zyrex went to the moon. You have prototype mining rigs set up on that moon. You need to get down there and inspect them for tampering or damage. Uh, yeah, sure, will do, man. Will do. So I'm going to get the Charon there. I, th I think the whole Cleomedes thing was absolutely uh, useless. But, you know, I was taking precautions. We're going to land on the moon. Maybe there's going to be a POI we're going to have to take on. Uh, some danger. I don't know. And since this shadow is pretty much a ground pounder, I'm going to need it. All right. So we are now approaching Arado Moon. Yeah. Land on Baron Moon. Don't mind if I do. I'll make my presence known. I don't know about you guys, but this moon seems weird. <laughs> the shape of it and the textures and all that. I don't know. Inspect all the mining rigs for damage. Okay. Well, apparently we got some Polaris around here. Yay. Okay, so we got prototype mining read three. We got some magnesium gear, which is quite interesting. But I, I think the mission first takes me to that mining rig over there. And we do have an alien facility and nests. Nests of what? You know what? For this, I think it's going to be a lot faster if I just take the Darius out for a spin. Uh, could I have landed a little less crooked, please? Okay, well, this, this planet doesn't seem cold at all. I think I might remove my EVA boost just so I can get, like, a little bit more armor. 
I'm just gonna stick this advanced insulation booster just in case it gets cold at night or something like that. All right, so here is the prototype mining rig two. I think it's okay. We're gonna go check out mining rig one. Let's do our little inspection. I don't even know if I need to drop. Okay, it doesn't appear to be any damage or sign of tampering. Find the second rig. Yeah, I, I could have checked that one first. I mean, it was along the way, right? Uh, okay, second rig right here. Uh, like the previous one, this one seems intact. Move on to the third. Uh, hell yeah. Okay, this one shows signs of structural damage. It appears someone was trying to break through the side. Find the fourth. And what is that over there? Ah, so we have a crash capital vessel. I like the details that were brought to us, like like there were sandstorms and all that. This is quite neat. I like it. Uh, but I'm not going to go inside. No. So we got a prototype uh, mining rig over there. And next to it, you got a Polaris Life Base 15. Uh, I'm going to go check the prototype mining rig, but I do want to go and check out that uh, life base as well. Well, this one got toppled over. <laughs> <laughs> Something bad happened. All right, what you gonna tell me? Prop. This rig is ruined and will need repair team. Uh, nothing you can do about it. Just move on to the final rig. Uh, where beeth the final rigeth? Uh, it's all the way over there. You know what? Let's just go inspect the life base first. Okay, I'm kind of curious. All right, uh, it's got some defenses on the sides. Cool. Uh, yeah, good thing you're my friend. Love you, Polaris. Hey guys. Uh, how's everything going, you know? Uh, didn't you guys kind of know this uh, mining rig getting toppled over? No? You guys are just busy playing whatever the hell it is you're playing on the table there? Are you even working? Are you playing chess? What are you doing? I guess you're just staring at each other profoundly. Uh, I have no time for this. Hey, hello, big fella. What do you got for me? Ah... Uh. Really, when, it, when is somebody going to buy my toxic waste instead of just selling it? It appears that everyone's trying to get rid of it. So we got a big storage room and a constructor. Uh, bleh, nothing over here. And we got a nice roof view. Okay, so basically this place is uh, nothing. Just got one little trader in there and that's pretty much it. All right, you know what? Let's Let's move on to the next rig. Well, we got a silicone mine here, but we're not gonna mess with that. No, this is their silicone. Well, this planet has bumps. It's bumpy. Yeah, must be fun to ride with a motorcycle. Okay, I think we've gotten to the dark side of the of the moon. All right, uh, there's mining rig five. It seems to be intact. Uh, Zyrax teleportation pad detected. Uh, that's fine. Uh, go ahead, turrets. Uh, take care of him. Uh, <laughs> the appears to be a Xyrex hack in progress on this mining rig. There is a Xyrex console to buy. Probably what they are using to do their hacking. The appear. The appears. Really? Right, let's just land here. Brush is off. I think there might be another Xyrex thereabouts. Hello. Whoa. Dude. Jerk. Ow. Okay, I'm bleeding. This is not good. Can you come here out in the open? Okay, you find no mention of the schematic in the data logs from the Zyrus console. You should ask for your contact for the schematic. It's Ow! Return to Polaris Distribution Center in the trading sector of Polaris territory. Really? All of this? Just so I have to go back? Oh, you suck. But I do, I do dig those, though. Uh, my life is going to go down completely. I'm going to die. Okay, let me get another little health from uh, inside the Darius. Okay, so, yeah, all of that was for naught, yeah, basically. Uh, we got a waste processing? Oh. Hell, I hope they buy my waste. <laughs> They'll probably just sell more. Ah, oh, damn you, Polaris. Uh, I think we should have the, the flashlight. I, I like what they did with the Xeno. Makes it look like there's sewage. It's disgusting. Uh, aww. A little bunch of little guys. But uh, I want to find a trader. Where's the trader? 
Oh, he's probably upstairs. Let's go check this place out. It is quite big, I gotta say. Uh, hey, dude. All right, anything I can help with? Uh, what are they? <laughs> we got raw chemicals and sewage from two different treatment tanks that are leaking and the stuff is toxic. Can't do anything to cr patch the cracks in the tank until this crap is safe enough for the boys to work around. What we need is something that can be dumped onto the mess to neutralize it, but we don't have anything left on hand. If you bring me 500 rock salts, I, I don't have rock salts. I can pour the stuff on the spill and the boys can patch a tank. You'll be hard pressed to find that stuff around here. You can dig it up from the ocean floor, sea cliffs, and the seashore from the sand around there. I'll pay you out of my own pocket if I have to. I'll see what I can do, we're a robot. Ah, so at least it kind of gives me a clue onto where I can get the rocks out, which is kind of interesting. All right, so there's stairs going up, uh, wherever the hell this is. Uh, let's go higher up and see if we got somebody else. Uh, hello, other trader, please? No, none of that? Okay, so we are in the core room. There's a couple of guards. Um, yeah, no, no trading to be done here. Well, perhaps I missed it. Well, you guys seem cool, but I'm not going to go running around trying to find that rock salt for you, okay? Uh, maybe next time I hit a beach, I will go there and recover some for you. But uh, until then, no. No. So over here, we got an alien facility. Uh, I'm going to take a little look and see if it's approachable <laughs> before I, I try to do anything. Okay. Okay. It's got a few lasers. But, uh, oh yeah, I know it's got more than a few lasers. You know what? I'm going to go grab the Charon. And I'm going to ground pound the crap of these. Ah, Christ! No! Ah, maybe I flew too close. Ah, damage! <laughs> Getting hurt. Ah, my God, that was a close one. Yeah, I am going to use uh, the Charon to ground pound the crap out of those turrets and be able to go inside. Yeah, it's time to get a little bit of action here. So, I am a little worried, uh, since I haven't put any things for the shield to make it go up a bit. I'm kind of worried that shields might not be able to take that much damage before it takes uh, their turrets down. Uh, let's give it a go. Let's see what it does. Yeah, shields are going down fast. But hopefully, maybe I'm able to take down their turrets uh, quite easily. Look at all that these, this gun power. Yeah. Yeah, they're going down. I think I'll be able to take down their turrets before uh, I, I get any sustainable damage. Right now, the shields are holding up and they're recharging extremely fast. I am quite surprised at that. So this uh, new shield adjustment is, is very pleasing, I gotta say. Look at that. <laughs> bye bye turrets yeah you won't be able to get me come on turrets look at that <laughs> look at all that firepower it's insane okay i think they only have like one turret left and then we'll go down there and go say hello yep all right turrets has all been disabled that didn't take too long uh yeah apparently they still have a lot of <laughs> freaking little defenses I'll be, have to take care of those uh, with the Darius, though. Yeah. At least I don't have the big ones to worry about. So Darius is ready. Shields are up. Uh, I gotta say, again, I'm quite pleased with the results from that attack. Oh my god, look at all that. Look at all that. Oh my god, there's just taking down my shield so fast. All right, we have to back up already. Oh my god, look at all this laser power. It's insane. Uh, I gotta say, even the shield recharge on the small vessels are, are a lot faster. Hey, I'm not complaining. Yeah, no, not at all. Let's destroy these guys. Come on, come on, come on. All right, got that one left here. Okay, yep, back enough. Back enough. Taking damage. Ah, my god. I'm gonna need to fix this ship afterwards. It's probably not taking a whole lot of damage. I'm not seeing any real block damage. But yeah, still, I, I want it to be back at 100% afterwards. Okay, making another approach. Gonna take down the remaining turrets that are on there. Okay, there goes another one. Uh, anyone else? 
Yeah, these guys over here. Over there. I see you. I see you, buddy. Hell yeah. Ah, uh, don't think I didn't see you. Okay, one more. One more here. You know, I think I'm kind of uh, thinking that maybe this is one of the POIs in which I had one of my awesome death loops. <laughs> Except now I have the means to take that sucker down. Yeah, back then I was only working with uh, <laughs> the Firefly, I believe. So, yeah, okay, taking damage. I see that. I see that. Thruster. Oopsie. I think a, a little overkill, maybe. So I know there's bound to be more, more of these little sentry guns. There you go. Eh? There you go. Sets up. I see you over there, little one. You know what, I think, I think that'll do for now. I'm gonna go on foot. Uh, wait a second. <laughs> uh, I think it's better that I go and clear that out before I actually decide to approach on foot. Otherwise, I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna take a lot of freaking physical damage. I'm gonna eat up all of my healies, and then I'm not gonna be pleased. So let's do this right the first time. Yeah, I saw you. Well, you know what? I got a nice little landing pad right here. I think I'm going to take advantage of it. And I know that these plays usually have, like, some pretty good loot to be had. Now, maybe they've got some changes done to this. I don't know. All I know is that now all the friends are going to spawn in and decide to play. Hey, guys. And that's right. I do have my sniper rifle. I can just one-shot them in the head. Bye-bye, sucker. This is a level 8 POI, so... Again, I'm gonna have to be careful still. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, you're not... You're not finding a great hiding spot right there. You stupid laser Zyrax. Okay, I think it's time to move in. Uh, are you... Are you kind of under glass? Yeah? Okay. Uh, hey, guys! Yeah. I'm here to party. I don't know why you guys are hiding. Okay. Well, I think they're all bloody idiots because they're somewhat not seeing me. Yeah, let's take that sucker down. You! Uh, I see you aiming that gun at me. I am not pleased by that. Please don't. Alright, what do we have in here? Okay, Prometheum and uh, Arrestrum modulated frequency cells, which I've, I've <laughs> yet failed to use. I mean, I should use that eventually, right? It could be kind of good. Alright, we got a little bit of cash, some herbal tea. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Uh, isn't this supposed to be an elevator? What is this? Okay, normal box. Okay, what do we have in this chest? A rocket launcher, some Heelys. Yep, I'll take it all. Yeah, but going down there is uh, suicide. <laughs> Seriously, isn't there like supposed to be usually uh, an elevator? I think, I think maybe... My ship completely destroyed it. So, yeah, that is, that is my bad. That's okay. Just uh, picking them off one by one. There you go. That's a very nice, healthy-looking pile of bodies right there. And there's more coming all the time. Whoa, whoa, uh-oh. No, I don't think I have much of a choice now. Take that! Okay, yeah, lasers. Ah, Christ. Okay, we got lasers. <laughs> That's not good. All right, let's take care of these spawn pads. Let's take care of these lasers. Hopefully nothing's going to step on behind me. I can see the Charon from here. Oh, hello. All right, so we got a loot crate over here. Yep, stuff. Just all regular stuff. It's fine. I I'm pleased with that anyways. Oh, heavy armor. And a little bit of cash. Yeah. Can I, can I actually take this? I can use this. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, I, I got some more cash here. Let me just uh, dump it in. Thank you. Okay. No, 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 no. You're not going to get me. You're not going to get me. Hey, you. And over here. Uh, no turrets hidden on top. Uh, more loots. Again. Loot again. And an M5 pistol. Yeah, I am pleased with that. And I am out of ammo. Ah. Alright, I, I think they suck at gardening. 
Let's just uh, chuck some food in the fridge. Uh, waffles? I will eat that immediately, actually. And this? Yeah, that, that's a, a valid Healy point. Okay, so I think this place has been cleared out. Uh, the only thing I don't remember is where is the core? That core? <laughs> uh, that, I, I think even last time I didn't find a core, and uh, yeah, that was was not good. Well, maybe I can look around in the uh, surrounding areas. Okay, I see lasers, but I'm going to use this gun this time. Yeah, this is going to take care of them quite faster. And down you go. Now, I'm a little worried about surrounding troops. There's going to be some. Uh, well, there's bound to be some, of course. Uh, but I should be able to take care of them quite easily. So here we've got the oxygen tanks. Um, let's look around a little more. No, you're all the way over there. I saw you. I saw you. All right, I think the coast is clear. Maybe the core is in one of these uh, boxes. Oh, here we got some ammo. Uh, <laughs> of course, it won't fit in the fridge. I want to put missiles in my goddamn fridge. Come on. Oh, this goes in the fridge now. And we got another container over here. Okay, yep. No luck with the core. Uh, there's still some more places to look around in. Whoa! Yeah, one for you, and I got another one for you. Just stand up, stand up. Thank you. So over here we got a, a Healy device. Oh, and on the other side, apparently uh, something got destroyed in here. Uh, again, probably my fault with the uh, turrets. I, I'm sorry for destruction of property. <laughs> Idiot. I don't think there's any troops anymore. I think I've pretty much taken care of them. Uh, now, here is the generator, and we got the fuel tank on the other side. Uh, maybe if I destroy those, it'll actually deactivate the base. Yeah, because you don't always need to destroy the core. Sometimes just a destroyed generator can do the trick. And... It, it did that do the trick? <laughs> Jesus Christ, no it didn't. Ah, oh, come on. Freaking reload. <laughs> My god. Ah, dumb ways to die. Well, you know what? At least I didn't do the Rakuna death, number one. And number two, uh, at least it's it's not a death loop. Or I, I hope not. I hope there's not a Zyrex that just decided to guard there. Yeah, we're good. Well, you know what? I gotta say that this POI is a freaking mystery to me. Uh, there's loot and all that, but where the core is, is beyond me. So, you know what? That's pretty much the only POI I wanted to check on this planet uh, now that we've uh, accomplished our mission. We're going to be heading back over to the distribution center. Okay, guys. So, we are back at the distribution center. <laughs> Let's go see the contact again and see what the hell he has to say this time. All right. So, I I'm back, dude. Now, what the hell? Hello, sir, madame. Welcome to the plaza. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, where's the schematic? The schematic? Oh, yes, about that. You see, I'm afraid I have exaggerated slightly as to the whereabouts of the schematic. We've been having a problem with Xyrex infiltrators sabotaging a prototype mining rigs, but we cannot risk open warfare by dealing with them ourselves. That's where you came in. I knew that you would be willing to pay for the schematic, but I cannot be sure whether you would be willing to risk killing members of the Xyrex Empire for it. But if I told you that it had been stolen by a ruthless band of pirate scum, well then, that would give you a clear conscience to do what was needed. You used me. Well, it says you lied to me, but you used me. Lying is such a strong word. I see it more as keeping out some unnecessary details. At the end of the day, the Arzarek's problem has been dealt with, and you are not free to purchase the schematic you seek. Purchase? You said it would be free. Free? Oh yes, I did say that, didn't I? Well, I will transfer a payment of 500,000 credits to your bank account for services rendered. If you can cough up 3 million credits, then you are free to speak to me again to purchase the schematic or not. It's your choice. You're a slimy little... Congratulations, you completed the mission Expedition the Forge. You sick bastard! Take my three million. 
Hello, sir. Blah, blah, blah. I want to trade. Oh, automated industrial mining raid. Uh, that's pretty much to go on the planets, I think. But uh, rich asteroid mining rig, that is what I want. Three million. Oh, my God. Plus this this ice mining drill. That's the two things. I, I want them both. And I got good reputation. Lower the price, you bastard. Ah, uh, will do. All right. I got to go see with the shop oh, if I can if I can sell some stuff. I, I need an extra couple of thousand dollars to be able to buy the other one. Ah, oh, the son of a... Well, apparently these guys uh, don't have... Oh, yeah, no, they do have an ATM. Let's try something out. Now, over here, I do have 3,000 coins, more or less. I'll go see if I can actually turn all of this in into the bank and see how much it gives me. Well, apparently it's enough. <laughs> My god. Hey, dude. Yeah, give me your... Yeah. Oh, what? Ah, I didn't write the right thing. Okay. Give me the ice mining drills as well. And I get my discount. Oh, that's why I still had more money left. Okay, because I didn't see the discount down here. Ah. All right. Thank you. So I got the rich asteroid mining drills and the ice mining drills. Yeah. We're going to be able to stick that on, on ships and I'm going to be able to mine those rich asteroids and get a ton of resources. But what is really worth 3 million credits plus the 500,000 credits and where the hell am I going the freaking bridge is there all right guys so uh yeah what I'm gonna be doing is uh, since the mission is done I'm gonna be heading over as soon as possible to a UCH ship to turn those recipes over so I can actually build the stuff the drills and I'm gonna be putting them on the well, I don't know if I can put them on the shop. I probably can. That would be the most, you know, the smartest choice. Or maybe actually I can put it on the the Mantis. Yeah, I could find some spots for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to figure all of this out. But I am going to do that. And I should have all of that ready for next episode. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. And if you liked the episode, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. So, until then, take care and Rakuna. What? I'm, I'm doing my outro here. Rakuna, what are those drills you bought? Uh, they are for the rich asteroids. What the hell are those? We never saw those before. That's because they're part of the 1.7 update. 1.7 update. Yeah. R okay, Rakuna. I believe you. No, you don't. I keep telling you and you keep making fun of me. Well, Rakuna, I think it's time you finish with your outro. Well, I was trying until you g brutally interrupted me. All right, guys, take care and stay safe. Bart out. Dude, that's my part. Uh, Rakuna out. <laughs> I gotcha.